Right, so if you were here, like, I think it was two days ago, I was showing you about this milkweed and it was getting the caterpillars and such and uh, overnight they literally devoured the milkweed so I had to run out and get some more and I'll show you the plant in a second but I went out and I bought these these two uh, this morning and you can see uh, this one right from the nursery it already has uh, let's see where's a there's an egg right let's see if I can get it Focused in right there. I don't know if you can see it. I got an egg right, right there. There it is. So I got an egg right there. A little monarch butterfly egg right there. And I had a couple of them on here. That one right. Right there. Right by the shadow. There's one. So it's got several of them on here. And uh. So, and then you'll, I'll show you, so you can see what they did <clears throat> to the one that was in there. It looked like that yesterday, and overnight, they just absolutely devoured it. You can see one of them right there. But now, look, you can see that this one is in the, has just started the process of the metamorphosis into the chrysalis state he's hung himself it's interesting he hung himself when that leaf was full and the others ate all around let me see if I can get down here the others ate all around that leaf but he, they didn't disturb right where he's hanging you can see there's a little fibrous material kind of holding him there and this one is just starting it he's hanging on the bottom of the pot and he's starting that metamorphosis into the chrysalis state and they say it takes about two weeks and you see a whole bunch of them up here are trying to find a place where they can hang now this is the other generation this guy's a little smaller and so he's a little younger but these other ones are right about oh there's one right there he's uh, found a place to hang and uh, Pretty remarkable. <laughs> that guy's still munching. And this was the original plan. I didn't want to put that in there because this is loaded with eggs. This has got a, you can see an egg right there. You can see an egg right there. There's a bunch of eggs on here, but I had to put this in there because the other plant, there was nothing left for them to eat. So this one's got a couple caterpillars. There's one. So I put this in there yesterday evening to give them something to eat. And uh, then I ran to the nursery this morning and got a couple more. It was interesting. I had to go to several nurseries. They, all of them were out. And I talked to one lady, and I guess everybody's... Uh, in the same situation that this is a an amazing year for caterpillars and monarchs and and all the nurseries are out of milkweed so but I fortunately I found these you can see that egg right there and uh, I had to put this one in there so they could eat for the night then I went out and I got these a couple more nice looking ones <clears throat> two gallon pots and so so it says it takes about two weeks this guy's like kind of exploring around like he's trying to find he's in that state of uh, kind of a knows it's about timed I usually have this covered I have a piece of cardboard over this to keep it uh, in the shade because it's kind of sunny out here on the patio but anyway so they say it takes about two weeks uh, for then they hang in the chrysalis state for about two weeks and and then they uh, turn into a butterfly monarch butterfly so I'll keep them in here and this is my little butterfly condo here 
and I'll keep them in here until they emerge and then I'll release them so as I can have them about 24 hours and we got a bunch of wildflowers around here that they can feed off of if they choose to stay but they should be getting ready for their migration they all go to Mexico all over North America they all fly down to Mexico so uh, so anyway I wanted to update you on that oh here's a good view of them right here you can see kind of here's a nice view so I got a side view through this and you can see one here is fine like they're all trying to find somewhere to hang so I better cover this up so they can be comfortable so they can comfortably find a place where they can make their transition and uh, you know maybe this is a me uh, metaphor for our life when it looks like you know the end is if you're sick or you're uh, decrepit or whatever and it looks like you know, it's painful and it's tragic but then that's what this is looking like because I mean you look at this and it looks kind of awful but uh, they emerge to something even better so maybe that'll be the case for us who knows but uh, we'll find out okay then I'll update you when I as things develop